Hi there. Uh, recently, I was able to pick up this drill press. It's just an eight-inch Craftsman drill press on Craigslist for twenty bucks, uh, and it's in decent shape, but it had rust all over it. So I was able to pull the rust uh, from all over the machine uh, from here, and I think it's pretty good. The only thing that's still left to do is the chuck uh, is rusted out, and also I don't have the chuck key for it. Uh, if you look at how much chuck keys are online, uh, normally they're about ten dollars. I actually ordered one. And when I put it in, uh, as soon as I went to go turn it, uh, the teeth just bent, and I ended up sending that back. So I figured what I would do instead is order a new chuck. Uh, now the new chuck's $20 instead, uh, but obviously won't have any rust on it, so the finished product will end up pretty nice, uh, and it'll be smoother to turn. So I'm just gonna show you how to reinstall a chuck on one of these. I'll put the link to this chuck, which is the right size for the eight inch Sears Craftsman that I have here. Uh, down in the comments, but you can find other ones easily online as well. Uh, and these are pretty generic size. So all you get with the chuck, if you open it, just looks like this, and this is the piece that I'm going to replace. So there's actually a tool that you can insert in a slot on the side on most drill presses uh, that make removing the chuck easier, uh, but I don't have that tool, and I've, you know most people probably don't have that tool, so what I like to do instead is take a piece of hardwood, uh, and take a rubber mallet, and actually you can bring it down a little bit. Uh, before you do this, it's good to retract the teeth uh, because the chuck's actually going to fall out, uh, and you don't want to damage the teeth. And I know that I'm, you know, going to throw this one away in a second anyway, uh, but it's good to just kind of uh, retract the teeth. And I also normally put something underneath it. This is just a polisher pad put underneath it. So you go down here, position the hardwood right on the edge of the chuck. And again, a bang, the chuck will actually fall right out. So this is the replacement chuck. It's just held on there with uh, the, the rod that it goes onto is tapered. So it's just held on there by the tapering of the rod. So let's grab the new chuck. Uh, again, make sure the teeth, uh, the jaws are fully retracted into the chuck before you do this. Put it on the taper, grab your mallet, and just go up, straight up, to move the chuck back in place. Uh, so now when I turn the drill on, uh, you can find the new chuck, it spins really nice, uh, and actually with the new chuck, they give me a key, so no more problem there. Hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you have anything to say, put it down in the comments, and please subscribe. Thank you.